Hey, this is Ellie from Magic Beans, and I'm here live from my Wellesley store. And it is my weekly live stream. And today we're going to be talking about my best strollers of 2023 predictions. So um, it is the end of the summer, and people are already asking questions about whether they should buy their stroller now or they should wait. But so in this video, we're going to talk about my predictions for when the new strollers are going to launch and what you can expect from the um, from that. Now, the good thing is that we just did a blog post on our blog, and I'm going to put a link in the chat to it for right now um, with a comprehensive uh, blog. And shout out to Diana, who is our long-term amazing person from Magic Beans, who is our blogger and um, wrote, when, when collaboration with me, a blog post all about the predictions of the different strollers. When is Appa Baby going to come out? And Bugaboo and Nuna and Bumble Ride and Bob and all those types of strollers. So definitely check out the blog um, because it is very comprehensive and has all that information. So the first thing you should know about 2023 is that um, strollers many, many times are debuted in Cologne, Germany in September. There is a trade show there, a big international trade show called Kindenjugend. And many of the your favorite brands exhibit. Now, this trade show I was there in 2019, and that's where the Upper Baby Vista and Cruise V2 was launched, just to give you a sense of what happens at the show. A lot of the American brands go and exhibit there, and all the other international brands, European brands, et cetera. So it's a really big show. Over the pandemic, over the past couple of years, it's been um, it's been canceled for a couple of times, virtual, et cetera. It's back this year. Not sure how many brands are going to be exhibiting this year. I know Nuna isn't exhibiting this year. They're doing their own thing. So still not back to like full force like many things in this post-pandemic times. And But um, that is a place where it happens in September. Uh, the vendors show their new strollers for 2023. And then Chinese New Year happens in right January of the next year. Um, I'm sorry, 2022. It'll happen this year, 2022. And then in January 2023... Um, after Chinese New Year, New Year, that's when things typically sort of rolling out. So spring is really where main launches happen. But you should know is that um, not every year do strollers launch. So for instance, um, the and this is all in that blog. Let's take the Upper Baby. Just mentioned it. They came out with their V2 variety in um, in Kindergarten in 2019. With that new canopy, the new modern canopy, they completely redesigned the cruise, and there have just been some kind of color changes um, over the past couple of years. They just launched a new Anthony color, um, which is very lovely. Um, I don't really um, no, expect there to be many sort of physical changes to the um, Up a Baby cruise or Vista in 2023, but we will see. Like in terms of Bugaboo. They have been, they will likely be at Kindenugan. And so um, definitely check back here to our blog, to the YouTube channel. As always, I'll try to get you the latest information about that. Um, but they have been coming out with a lot new, more new products lately, right? They just came out with, they came out with things like the Stardust. Um, there are other products I know they're coming down the line. Stay tuned to the YouTube channel for some secrets about that. They're coming soon. Um, but they are coming out with new innovations all the time. They came out the Butterfly this year. So even though this was a brand that came out with very few things for many years, in the past couple of years, they've been like really rocking and rolling and launching a lot of um, new innovations, new products. So I would think that there would be new things in 2023. As for Nuna, um, they came out with a travel last year, their lightweight travel stroller. I don't know whether they will be coming out with a new stroller this year, but in 2023, but we will probably get some inside scoops of that probably later in 2022 for 2023. Um, so, oh, and then also the other thing I want to say is that in America, we have a show called ABC, the um, All Baby and Kids Expo. That used to be right around the same time as Kindle New Kid, but now it is in May. Um, it happened this past May. Fewer things launch in May, but um, they will likely be doing that show in May. So in terms of like launches and finding out when new things are, America would be May in the spring, and then fall would be that European international show, which I think is really cool. Um, now, um, like I said, head over to that blog um, for 2020 um, comprehensive predictions. Sorry. 
Okay, cool. Now, um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit as well here today about the why I was late to the live stream. So like I said, I'm here in my Wells Inc. Massachusetts store, and I was doing a, um, a live stream on Instagram earlier today. Um, and so you can check us on Instagram at mbeans.com as well. There's lots of cool content that happens there as well. Um, but between my Instagram live stream, my YouTube live stream, um, I met a really lovely couple here in the store, and I decided to help them with their baby gear. And they came in asking about the Mima Xari and the Stoke Explorer. Um, Mima Xari, very modern looking stroller, not for me for any number of reasons. Um, and the Explorer, as you know, I love, had that stroller myself. But when someone comes in and asks about the Mima Xari and the Stoke Explorer, those are two of the most modern strollers. And so we definitely wanted to help this customer figure out what stroller whether these strollers made sense for them. Again, if this Mima was right for her, I would have told her, go and find it, buy it, live your life. But I spoke to her and she lives in a suburban area. And I said to her, look, if you are going to be taking this in and out of your car every day, these strollers are very lovely, are not the best strollers for taking in and out of the car every day. So we looked at a Bugaboo Butterfly, we looked at a Cybex Mios, which is like modern, but not too big, but not too small. Um, but she really wanted something with some substantial wheels. So we steered her towards the Bugaboo Fox, um, which is still kind of on the heavy side, but they really wanted something with bigger wheels. But once you remove the seat from the Fox, you can see that it the chassis is actually quite light. So she's still thinking between the Butterfly and the um, and the and the Fox. I think she's going to go towards the Fox as a like all-purpose travel system, probably with a Bugaboo Turtle Air by Nuna, which I think would be a very nice combination for that modern look, but something a little bit more practical for like a suburban lifestyle. So it was an interesting experience. But again, I think that um, if you live in the city and you're walking out the door, the Amima or an Explorer would be a great thing. But if you want something that is going to be folded, she was actually over at Bloomingdale's and they didn't help her at all there. She saw the Explorer there, you know, but it's really important to like fold these things up so you know whether this is going to be good in, in and out of the car. So definitely think about that um, lightweight, um, what would be a better light, lightweight solution for you. So I thought that was interesting. So anyway, uh, drop a comment below if you have any questions. Check out our blog. Um, it's pretty awesome. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe to um, as, I, as these new 2023 strollers launch. Have a great day.